Today we're discussing about the exciting world of search engines, SEO, and what the future holds for how we find information online. From Google to AI-powered tools like Gemini, Perplexity, and Grok, things are changing fast. Let's break it down in simple terms. For those who want an end-to-end -end AI search experience, we are introducing an all-new AI mode. Today you'll see how you can ask anything and a more intelligent, agentic, and personalized search will take on your toughest questions. You'll find it as a new tab directly in search or right from your search bar. Search engines have come a long way from just typing keywords into Google. Today they're smarter, thanks to artificial intelligence. AI helps search engines understand what you're really looking for, even if your query is vague. For example, instead of just showing links, modern search engines give direct answers images, or even videos right on the results page. In the future, expect search engines to get even more personal. They'll learn your preferences, like what kind of content you love, or how you like information presented. Voice search is also exploding. Think Siri or Alexa, but way more advanced. You'll just talk to your device, and it'll find exactly what you need. Now let's talk about the big players shaking things up. Google's still the king, but it's not alone anymore. New AI-driven search engines like Perplexity are gaining fans by giving clear, conversational answers. Then there's Grok, created by XAI, which focuses on cutting through noise to give you straightforward, truth-seeking results. And don't forget Gemini, which is pushing AI to make search faster and more intuitive. These tools aren't just search engines, they're like digital assistants. They summarize info, compare options, and even predict what you might ask next. In the future, AI search could replace traditional browsers entirely with apps or devices that just know what you want. If you're a content creator or run a website, SEO or search engine optimization is your best friend. But AI is changing the game here too. In the past, SEO was all about stuffing keywords into your content. Now it's about creating high quality, helpful content that answers real questions. In the future, SEO will focus on user experience. Things like fast-loading pages, easy navigation, and engaging visuals will matter more. AI search engines also love content that's clear and authentic, so spammy tactics won't work anymore. Plus, with voice search growing, optimizing for natural conversational phrases is key. Here's where things get wild. AI-based browsers. Imagine a browser that doesn't just load websites, but curates information for you. These browsers could use AI to filter out ads, summarize articles, or even fact-check content in real-time. Companies like XAI, with tools like Grok, are already exploring ways to make browsing smarter and less overwhelming. Let's break down some of the top AI-based search engines in simple terms, focusing on what they do, how many people use them, and how much they cost. ChatGPT search is super popular because it's like talking to a smart friend who understands your questions. It uses OpenAI's GPT-40 to give clear, conversational answers, works in many languages, and even lets you use voice or call a number to search. About 30% of people using AI search engines go for ChatGPT, thanks to its massive 5 billion monthly visits. It's free if you have an account, but for extra features like voice mode or creating images, you can pay $20 a month for the Plus plan. Grok, made by XAI, is all about giving straightforward answers without ads or fluff. It pulls info from X posts and the web, and it can even create images with its Aurora model. It's not as widely used, probably less than 5% of AI search users, because it's mainly on the X platform, you can use it for free on X or grok.com, but if you want more searches, there's a super grok plan. Google Gemini is Google's big push into AI search. It handles text, images, and even audio questions and ties into Google's apps like Maps or YouTube. It's got about 8% of AI search users, with 42 million people using it. You can use it for free, but for fancier features, the Gemini Advanced plan costs $19.99 a month through Google One. Claude, built by Anthropic, is great for researchers or coders who want thoughtful, detailed answers. It's not as big with less than 5% of users, and it doesn't search the web in real time like others. It's free for basic use, but you'll hit limits fast. The Pro Plan at $20 a month gives you more access and handles bigger questions. 
DeepSeek is a favorite in Asia, especially for coding and math. It's open source, meaning techie folks can customize it, and it's super cheap to use. Around 8% of AI search users pick it, with millions downloading its app. It's free, and even its API for developers costs just pennies per thousand words. Perplexity is like a research buddy that pulls answers from the web, YouTube, or Reddit and cites them clearly. It's great for digging deep and asking follow-up questions. About 5% of users choose it, and it's growing fast. The free version uses an older AI model with limited searches, but for $20 a month or $200 a year, you get unlimited searches and access to top AI models like GPT-4. Quint from Alibaba shines in Asia and handles long complex questions, especially in Chinese. It's more for businesses, so fewer regular people use it, less than 5%. You can try smaller versions for free, but full access through Alibaba Cloud's API costs around $10 per million words. Microsoft Copilot is a big player. Using GPT-4 and tying into Bing Windows and Microsoft 365 for work tasks. It's got about 14% of users, boosted by Microsoft's huge reach. It's free on Bing or Microsoft apps, but Copilot Pro costs $20 a month for extras, and businesses pay $30 per user for the 365 version. Each of these AI search engines brings something unique. Whether it's ChatGPT's popularity, Grok's no-nonsense approach, or Copilot's work-friendly features. Most are free to start, but paying around $20 a month gets you more power and flexibility. In a few years, your browser might feel like a personal research assistant, pulling together info from across the web without you clicking a dozen links. This could mean less time scrolling and more time learning or creating. Of course, it's not all smooth sailing. With AI running the show, there are concerns about privacy. How much data are these search engines collecting? And there's the risk of bias. AI can sometimes prioritize certain viewpoints or miss the full picture. Plus, as search engines get better at giving direct answers, websites might see less traffic, which could hurt small creators. But the future's bright, too. Imagine search engines that can translate languages perfectly, create custom learning plans, or even help solve global problems by connecting the right people and ideas. The possibilities are endless. So, what's the takeaway? Search engines are getting smarter, faster, and more personal thanks to AI. Tools like Google, Perplexity, Gemini, and Grok are leading the charge, while SEO and browsing itself are transforming. Whether you're a casual user or a content creator, staying ahead means embracing these changes and focusing on quality. What do you think about the future of search? Are you excited for AI browsers? Or maybe a bit skeptical? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Tech Made Simple.